you fell. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> it's Doris with Aldi Books. And um, I am here for a shelf revisit. So I meant to do this super quickly, but I got tickled with the camera falling off the Tower of Doom. So anyway, <laughs> so what this is, is um, two years ago, I did a, a, a haul revisit. I revisited every single haul um, from 2017, which was my first year on BookTube. And um, pulled out all of the books that I had purchased that year that were still on my shelves. And I have been steadily or not so steadily working on them uh, throughout the year. And um, at last count, I had 44 books left on the Tower of Doom that you were precariously perched on. Um, I think it's less now, I've read a couple. So maybe, maybe I'll get into the 30s in November. That would be exciting. Anyway, so um, to make a short story of average length, I don't know. Um, I had ice cream, guys. I had a Butterfinger Blizzard, like I finished it five minutes ago. So yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this year I have been revisiting my shelves periodically and looking for all of the books that I purchased in 2018 that are still on my shelves, um, unread. Um, and the reason that I'm having to do shelf revisits as opposed to haul revisits is because I didn't, um, make haul videos consistently last year. So I have been very consistent with them this year. So next year I'll be able to do haul revisits again, which will be a lot of fun, but, um, shelf revisits are fun too. So, you got a peek at my sh my nonfiction shelves in I think the last video or the one before that I don't remember but one of the recent videos um, when I was pulling books for nonfiction November so um, I am just gonna go through the rest of my nonfiction books now and then I'll be done with the shelf revisits for 2018 which will be exciting so. I'm going to flip the camera around and just get to it. So these are my nonfiction shelves and there is the stack that I pulled for nonfiction November. And these on my cart, this is going to be the card of chaos, you know, next year. So <laughs> my fiction haul revisits are already on there from my fiction shelves are done. Uh, and the top shelf here is my, um, South African focus read from January and I just never finished these ones on the front so hopefully I'll get to that um, before the end of the year but we're running out of time so I'm going to go through these now and pull out the ones that um, I think I'm pretty sure these two Okay, Angela's Ashes, I think I read already. So, um, I need to flip through that and check. But I know that this has been here a long time. I'm pretty sure that one. I think this one. I'm not sure about this. Those are good. And then I feel like these have been here a while. Um, what else? These are all new. Y'all remember those being new. Um, I think those are all new. I'll check my list here in a minute too. And then, um, that was Gabriel. <laughs> that one, I think. I think I saw that one on the list. I just got that. Um, I'm not sure about all of these. Those are, I think, new. Oh, and I need to check this, my nonfiction November stack too. Okay, I'm gonna go through my my list here real quick and get back. Okay, with and the ones I'm not sure about, like Buzz and Seeds and Sapien, I think all these three are um, 
older, but they weren't on my list, so I'm not 100%. So I'm putting the stickers on the spine of those. So I'm gonna do that with the other two and then show you what I found. Actually, these two as well, I put the sticker on. And so the sticker will just let me know next year, this time, if these books with the stickers are still on my shelves. Um, like here's some more. That'll let me know that I need to, you know, take care of those. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, it's a pretty significant stack here. <laughs> I have Turn Right at Machu Picchu, um, American Eden. Those were both on my nonfiction November. I'm crooked. So, gotta prioritize those. And then I found the Journey to the West. Uh, every tongue got to confess the color of water. This one was still hiding on my fiction shelves. Sneaky, sneaky. Unaccustomed Earth, 1776. Prairie Fires, Team of Rivals, The Liars Club. Angela's Ashes, All the Single Ladies, Etymologicon, The Age of Wonder, and Golf. Oh, and um, uh, Darwin and the Barnacles that's on my October, Victober TBR, so we need to get to that one. So let's see if they'll fit in the cart of chaos. I'm doubtful. There's a lot of books. That is a bunch of books. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so these can stay out because they're on TBRs. Oopsie. And then um, these are gonna have to stack facing out because they won't fit otherwise. Let's see, let's put the tall ones here. And then, oh, I was putting the short ones up here. This is my little filming setup. I use a selfie stick for that, so. This might work, guys. Oh, we don't want to kill the books. Oh, so we got, oh, we're golden. We got room down here. Look at that. Yay. So the plan is I've got all of the 20... 18 unreads on the bottom two shelves and then I'm going to get the South African stuff on the top shelf taken care of before the end of the year so that I can move the Tower of Doom. The goal is for the Tower of Doom to be small enough to fit on the top shelf here. I can do that. I can do that. So why am I breathing so hard? books. Oh my gosh, such a workout. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!